Give us your views on the state of readiness for Nigeria to conduct these elections. Well, the whole nation is looking forward to the coming elections with great anticipation. There is a great determination that this time round, the elections be held properly. As you may know, the INEC, the Independent National Electoral Commission, has been reconstituted, a new head appointed uh, last year, in whom great store is placed because it's highly respected. Mm. But of course, there has not been enough time for him to um, reorganize the INEC totally, as, as was demonstrated by what happened. Nevertheless, people are still determined, people are still hopeful that this time around, this is going to be a credible election. So there is a pos positive atmosphere, right. even though, as usual, there are a great many conspiracy theories. <laughs> as, but e as election observers, are you concerned about the integrity of this poll? The fact that electoral uh, materials didn't reach their destinations on time, that some people who had uh, readied themselves to vote couldn't even find their names on the voters' roll. Does that concern you? Yes, it does. But one hopes still that, uh, that a credible election could be held if tomorrow all the election materials will have reached all the 124,000, or rather 120,000 polling stations. And if all the polling stations open in time, and if all those who present themselves for accreditation are indeed accredited, or even if there were some who will be maybe not found in the electoral register, but if the majority, the vast majority, were, who turn up were actually accredited and later were able to vote in a transparent manner, in an orderly manner, mm -hmm. then it's still possible that a credible election mm -hmm. could take place which will reflect the will of the Nigerian people. As you know, this country has a, a history of, to say the least, seriously imperfect elections. And it is agreed that the 2007 one was about the West. Mm. And the feeling is that the nation and even the national institution must redeem itself by holding mm. a credible, transparent uh, election this time round. President Mukhai, going back to the 2007 election that you're talking about, it's taken over three years for those who disputed the results to get some kind of legal recourse and resolution. The mechanisms to solve any electoral disputes this time around, are the systems better equipped to do so? In terms of the law and the rules and regulations, those are okay. But one can't vouch for the state of preparedness of the election machinery, as demonstrated by the last minute failure of the elections last weekend. And therefore, there is some nervousness on the part of everybody. There is some apprehension as to whether INEC, the Independent National Electoral Commission, is as prepared on the ground right. as, as it says it is, and as the people would like it to be. So that's one area where there is nervousness, but there is still hope. People believe in the integrity of the chairman of INEC, and they believe that nothing will be done that is inappropriate deliberately under him, mm. that if anything goes wrong, it would be in spite of him rather than right. because of him. That at least has created a, a positive attitude. Right. For instance, last Saturday, people waited in time in an orderly fashion, and you would have expected the last minute can, uh, cancellation to have resulted mm. in some kind of um, uh, 
uh, violence, but it didn't. It didn't. People really were very patient. Right. I am hoping that uh, even though their confidence might have been shaken somewhat, that uh, the behavior on the part of the public mm -hmm. and the party representatives uh, of last weekend would be repeated this coming Saturday.